What is going on, everybody? I am so stoked to be back on this map and back on this playthrough. Oh, yeah, our yield is so good with the fast bailer that we're not able to go fast on it. We're getting back at it. We're back on new lands. Everyone who has discovered us after doing the supercut, thank you for joining the channel. It's been so cool to show everybody this series. So what we're going to do today, we're going to get caught up on what's going on. It's been almost a year since I've been on this playthrough. It's exciting. It's definitely exciting. We could just set up a course on here. We'll do that next time. We'll do this ourselves today. But there's a lot of things that I, I kind of want to almost call audibles on and... We're going to redesign this. We're going to make it super more, super more. We're going to increase the profitability of this farm. That's one of the biggest concerns I have right now is I've learned a lot over the last year about this game. And basically, we've done a lot of things. We made a lot of rookie mistakes, and we're going to clean a lot of that up. We're going to improve a ton. One of the things I definitely want to look into is relocating our greenhouses potentially getting rid of one of the productions, probably getting rid of the cattle. Uh, you, I could see as I was watching these back, I had some ideas. I knew where we wanted to go. I knew how, I didn't know how to get there though. I'm struggling to kind of articulate my feelings about this playthrough and it's nice to be back on here though. So we're gonna finish up April today in this episode. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get today um, especially with only going four miles an hour with the fast bail here uh, we're going to keep some of the rules it is a rags to riches story that has lease to own enabled and we have a lot of things leased and so i was looking at that menu when i logged in here and boy oh boy did we spread ourselves pretty thin with these leases and so that's going to be really the first focus is taking a look at our equipment, seeing exactly what we need and getting rid of things we don't, as well as making sure those are the, the items we want long term. So, you know, we do have to pay things off before we can sell them. If we have them leased and we're, we haven't purchased them yet or paid them off yet, we're, we're on the hook for those. That's definitely going to be still the playthrough item here. But I am going to evaluate some of that. We're gonna keep cruising, get all of these bales picked up and get them fermenting because that's gonna be our best path to make a good amount of money. And I think if we get rid of the cows and we sell them, sell that pasture, probably sell the sheep. We're gonna get the sheep back because I definitely think that's gonna be the animal for this playthrough is sheep. We got one series with chickens. We have another series with cows and cattle. I think it's time to do a sheep build and that was one of the main reasons why I was excited to be back on this playthrough was to get that going. So I'll keep driving around here and then we will start probably selling this the cows and then the pasture, get rid of all the animals. Like I said, it, we're kind of resetting, but they'll be back hopefully sooner than later.
All right, well, this job is just about done here, and this last pass, we're able to go a little faster because there's not as much grass, which is nice. So I've been thinking through some things, and we're going to evaluate all of our equipment here next and see if there's anything that is worth getting rid of. Really doing a hard reset on... Not a hard reset, but somewhat of a reset on what we have here. Pretty decent mowing setup. We're going to have to evaluate... Do we need... I don't remember if this has swath. It looks like it does. Um, so we'll test that. So this thing might be gone. So let's go ahead and... Actually, this is going to be the best way to do it. Let's look in here. So this is stuff we physically own. We have the small Massey Ferguson. We have this McCormick. Gosh, these are brands I don't even use anymore. Uh, where are we attached? Yeah, let's go ahead. And we're going to go over here because there's one thing I did want to look into and make sure we had the front loader attacher yeah we do have on this tractor so this is probably going to be the one that we keep we're going to liquidate it's like we got to tear it down to rebuild it is kind of what my mindset is right now so let's go ahead and go in here and deal with our terrible terrible terraforming and hook up to this front loader we want to keep this on here when we need it but I just wanted to kind of do this to evaluate everything, right? And I think what we might also do is start purchasing soil. So we might sell the Isera Pro there as well. Let's lift those forks so we don't get stuck anymore. So this is staying. So we're going to go ahead and move this. And we'll put this about right here. All right. So now this harvester, I believe, is leased. Um, oh, we own the harvester? We own the harvester, but we're leasing the header, and we have 37,000 to pay off on that. Beautifully sized cultivator for where we are in this playthrough. We owe a lot of money on. Cedar, we owe a ton of money. Mower, we owe a ton of money. And the baler, we owe a ton of money. So we gotta get out of debt. This isn't trending well, in my opinion. It's a fun playthrough, we're doing great, but we could do a lot better. So we have a spreader here. We have a sprayer for herbicide. This cedar does both. So this takes care of lime. This takes care of fertilizer and planting. And that takes care of herbicide. This is for cultivating. Is this a direct drill? No previous cultivating necessary. Oh boy, are you not required. You are not required. You are required. You are required. Not a lot to get rid of. The big candidate here is the Massey Ferguson. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna drive this over to the store. We'll get it repaired. We'll get a little bit of cash for it because we have no need for this anymore. There's our gator over there. Oh yeah, terrible terraforming here. Wish the buildings would just slope with the terrain. Talked about that a lot on my channel. You know, the Massey Ferguson came in handy, but we don't need it anymore. 16 hours on it. Once we repair it, I don't think it's worth much. Take that stop sign with us, apparently. Yep, you're coming for the ride. The old long drive to the shop. That's come a long way since we did a last video on this. Clever Motors, we have arrived. Gate should be open, yep. This one automatically closes at a certain time of the night, which is a pretty cool feature. But let's loop over here, say goodbye to our Massey Ferguson, and find the trigger here. It should be right here. No, it's over here. All right, 400 bucks to repair, not too bad. And then, yeah, let's repaint it. All right, we have $50,000 now in a stop sign. Okay, the next thing I want to do is we're gonna check to see if we have any milk first before, well, we're gonna sell all the cows. And this, you know, people might not be happy with this approach, but I felt like this was a mistake and we were trying to move too fast to add certain things to the farm to make us money before we we're ready to really handle it, so. Let's find the trigger here. They are going to charge us a fee for doing that, but we're going to get $15,900. And then there is no milk. They have food. That's just going to be a loss. We'll hop in here and sell that and get a little bit of cash for that. We're at 70000 already. All right. Now over here, you know, this is probably the one that's going to hurt the most here because we're going to want these back. But 
I want this farmland. So let's find that trigger. Should be over here, I believe. Ah, let's just turn them on. There it is. You know, it's funny. I wasn't happy with the decision to do this when we did. Um, I was like rushing myself, but they're gone. Let's go here, sell that for another 17,000. Now we have 94,000, a little bit of wool that we can move and a little bit of grass that we can sell. Try to wrap those somehow. And then terraforming got ruined by those buildings. But if we go here, uh, let's see. We owed this land all the way to, if I'm not mistaken, about here? Oh, a lot farther. All the way back to about here. So, time to make an outline. Cut down the trees that are inside the outline. And then uh, send that stuff to the sawmill and make a new field. Decent sized field too. So that's where this expensive cultivator is going to come in handy. We need more crops. We need them fast. Make more money. And then we will basically backpedal on what we just did. We'll start buying some animals again. And at least sheep. And that water tank. It's really debatable whether or not that's needed now, isn't it? Yeah, terraforming is terrible here. Okay, we have a little road here that we probably want to respect. So let's pull forward a little bit. Then we'll back up. Up. Oh. That got jackknifed a little too much. Okay, we do have GPS at our disposal, which is real nice and will come in handy here in a few. But let's go ahead and get about right here. Enable fields lower and we should be able to... Gosh, that looks pretty on this map. I forgot. Get this cultivated, build a nice huge field, find our property line and really start making progress. All right, let's look here. Oh yeah, we just about hit our property line. So let's turn as much as we can and take a look at the map. This one, you know, I wish the the property lines would show up because it looks like we're outside our property. And so this might be something we're field cultivating. Yeah, there it is. So we hit it there and then it'll be back there. So let's... <laughs> That was kind of strange. So we'll go right here, see about lowering and heading straight this way and see if we can connect the field that way. We can fix the stuff to our right here in a minute. But that works there. Yeah, this is kind of a pain with the property line here. Let's see if we can take a look. We should be able to follow this somewhat road to the end of it and then turn right. And we will go right here and take another check here. Yep, pretty safe right there. Not the biggest field, but like I said, we just need to get some crops in the ground and start making more money. And we'll come in about like this. And when they connect, we'll go ahead and lift. And I think at this point we take a break. Field's not as big as I was hoping it was gonna turn out, but let's get these trees down and out of the way. And that will be a good, good start. Okay, with a little bit of muscle, we got all of the logs loaded up. We'll go ahead and get them sold. And <laughs> that wool, that might be stuck there forever. Now, not having any pallets, trying to remember everything about this. I imagine we're selling items directly to the vendors because we got tired of the farm. Um, what is that called? We got tired of the community thingy. I'll think of it after I'm done recording what it's called. Someone will remind me. Farmer's market. It's a farmer's market. Oh, that's not what we wanted. I want the other trigger that the tractor is in the way of. There we go. And we should have a good amount in there now. Let's take a look at what's in the sawmill. Down to productions. Wood, we have 26,000. Plenty of water because we have the irrigation on. And we have a flour mill. Look at this, this guy. Yeah, one goes a leftover. We have a flour mill that we really can't use right now because we don't have any um, any grain to put in it. So, okay, let's go back. We'll drop the trailer off. We'll get back on the cultivator and continue with what we were working on. So much terraforming to come here. We can get underway, uninterrupted, get this cultivated. We'll have to survey it. I think, you know, thinking again, We'll see how much it is to buy the entire plot of land. 
soil information versus going around scanning it. So we might, we definitely might sell the scout. And another field cultivated. We're gonna touch up the outside here once we get this done. Go ahead and fold up, unlock GPS there. We'll let that do its thing. Let's hop into the construction mode here and grab painting grass. And we'll just do something like that just to get rid of the cultivated state. And it is meadow, uh, though it looks like it's been cut. I'm not sure if we did that or not, but this is gonna cost a lot of money to repair this. If we see the price, maybe we'll give ourselves a little, yeah, it's fine. We'll see how the rest of this grows. It's a little strange that it's small or short over here. Maybe I did cut it. I don't remember, or it might be just from, from the sheep. Let's get the cultivator put away. We will get, uh, we'll take a look at surveying it. We'll see how we feel about that. Because I would like to reclaim the money from the scout since we use it so little. Straighten out here. Give it a little bit more of a turn. Oh, look at us. Look at us backing up. Oh, a lot's changed in a year. All right, let's take a look at the map now. Oh, uh, in this mode, we need to look at soil type. I thought that was the right mode for that. Let's see. Oh yeah, it, when we're in a vehicle, the menus are a little different. It's kind of strange. Okay. Soil samples, not letting me click up there. I can click here, click here. Why? Why? Let's go to this one. Purchase, purchase. Interesting. We do own that land, right? Yeah, 50, 50 we own. So partially we would have to buy some of this one, which is gonna be $4,000. Okay, we're gonna scout it. We are going to scout it. Is that a lime buying station? That's sick. This will be fun. Go ahead and lower it now. As we get over here, we should be at a good spot about right here to get started. We don't want to waste money, so we'll get as far over about right there and take a sample. And then, yeah, get as far away from that side. So we'll come this way. Right there is about as good as we're going to get. Hopefully we can do this in about five samples here. All right there. And that's going to be good there. Okay, it'll be a little more than five. That'll cover it all. And then what's the button? I forget why. Once it's done, we have six samples taken. Shouldn't be too long before we find out the information on that. There it is, 600 bucks, that's not bad. So we have a little clay, a little loam, and a little sandy loam. All right, now it's time to put some lime down. No reason to spend money yet. We don't know if we're gonna need more lime than what we have in here. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot without it. We do need to take care of this grass field again as well, but we need to get all of the bales out of the way first. And not quite far enough to the right there. We'll sneak over a little bit. 4.38 tons per hectare. That seems like a lot. And it got us farther than I thought it would. So we got 600 liters left here. It's about to run out. And we'll go ahead and shut it off once we hit right here. And head on in, you can see we did pass over on the grass field a little bit. I thought that wouldn't be that big of a deal. And we'll get this opened up and see about how ridiculously priced this is. I don't remember. It's been a while. And yep, we'll fill it up with lime and spend $4,000. That's not bad. That is not bad. I don't remember how far that'll go in the grass field, but we'll use it all eventually. We got these other fields back here that we'll have to reapply lime to. Alrighty. And back to it. That field is all prepped to get the cedar out here. This is exciting. And I want to do a crop that's gonna be able to go in the wheat factory or the, the grain mill. So what do we have out here? We have some barley, we have some wheat. What a surprise. Let's do sorghum. Is it sorghum? Let's, let's make sure. Or oats. Oats are fast to turn around, so let's do oats. I think that'll be enough. If it's not, we'll go back and get more. I haven't used this implement in so long. Let's make sure we're set to the right type. There we go. We are set to oats. And it's time to get our first field in a long time planted in Newlands. Oh, it looks nice too. Beautiful. And the last row, here we come. 
and another field planted in new lands. I'm excited to be back on this map. I hope everybody's going to enjoy it as much as I am right now. But that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will catch you on the next episode.